Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Stripe to Webflow in 2023. By integrating Stripe, a popular payment processing platform, with your Webflow website, you can easily accept payments and manage transactions. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of setting up this integration, enabling you to provide a seamless payment experience to your customers. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and set up a Stripe account. So if you don't already have a Stripe account, you'll have to visit the Stripe website and sign up to a new account. To do so, go and open uh, whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type stripe.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this should take you to the home screen or main screen of Stripe website. Of course, if you have an account, you can always click on sign in at the top right corner for you here. You can see dashboard because I'm already signing into my account. And if you don't have an account, you can simply click on start now here to create a new account for yourself, provide the necessary information and complete the registration process. Of course, if you don't know much about Stripe, you can scroll down to read more information about this example to familiarize yourself with the website and to be sure that you want to um, start using Stripe as your payment gateway. You can even like go and uh, check for uh, people reviews on uh, Google to see how they're uh, interacting about Stripe or how uh, they're saying uh, what they're saying about Stripe. So for me, I'm just going to access my dashboard, and of course, from here, once I access the Webflow uh, or sorry, the Stripe dashboard, I'll have to simply complete this step of activating the payments. So click on it and simply you'll have to complete some simple steps here, uh, starting by verifying your business, adding your bank, securing your account, adding some extras if needed, and of course, uh, review everything and finish. And you'll be able to start uh, enabling or being able to accept the payments on Stripe. Of course, uh, make sure to even enable this test mode because once you connect your uh, Stripe with Webflow, you will have to make a test transaction to see if the integration is working correctly or not. At the moment, we will have to go and open a new tab and simply head up to webflow.com. From here again, if you have an account, make sure to go and log in at your account. But if you have an account, simply go and click on register now to go and create an account for yourself. For me again, I'm just going to click on login to log in into my account. And of course, I'm going to log in with Google because this will prevent me from doing all the boring steps of logging in into my account. Or, and of course, even creating your account will be able to do it with Google. So here's an example. If there's any something new, you will be fine this year. So, or I've already like created an account. That's why they are just updating me with what's new, but um, don't care about this at the moment. So here, what we need, of course, you will have now to go and access your, or navigate to the specific projects where you want to integrate Stripe. As an example, let's say this stripe. So make sure to go and open the designer and to, of course, of the websites or the e-commerce components where the where your project that you want to add stripe on. And of course, once you do so, you'll have to go and add like an e-commerce components. And this will enable you to create and manage products for sales on your website. So if you don't have any products as an example, for me, I have here some, but for you, if you don't have it, make sure to go and add your e-commerce components or your products to your website. So people even will uh, be able to buy something to even find Stripe. Then make sure to configure even the products settings if you want to and the payment or the price of it and a lot of other stuff that you can uh, customize and configure depending on whatever you want. Then you will have to set up your Stripe integration and the Webflow Designer, you make sure to go and find the payments integration option and you can choose Stripe as your payments processors. So as an example, go to this list panel, click on the settings and click here on e-commerce. And before you can configure e-commerce settings, you need some basic information about your store. Don't worry, it will be, all, it be also uh, update to this information later. So here I'm just going to type some things like test, sheets, address. I'm just going to enter this and click on continue here. So here we are. Now what we'll need to do, of course, is just go in and click on payments. Once I do so, as you can see from here, I'll be able to add uh, Stripe or even PayPal as a payments provider. 
Of course, if I want to connect with Stripe or even PayPal, I'll simply have to go and click on connect Stripe if I want to use Stripe and connect with PayPal if I want to use PayPal. So if I want to use PayPal, I'll have to simply log into my account. And if I want to use Stripe, I'll have to do the same. So let's start with Stripe. So as you can see before even connecting to your Stripe, you'll have to secure your account with a mobile number if you just created your account. You can do it with mobile number or authenticator app or even use the security key if you want to. So for me, I'm just going to, to use an example, uh, authenticator app. And of course, for that, I will have to use my phone. So let me just go and access the authenticator into my phone. And of course, I'll have to go and scan this QR code. So click on scan QR code on my phone. And here, of course, I'm scanning this. And here we are. So I scan it. Now I'll have to click on next. And then I'll have to type the code that is provided here for me. And here we are. So your account is secured. Write down this emergency backup code and store it somewhere self. If your device is ever lost or stolen, you can use this code to unlock your Stripe account. So of course, I'm just going to click on next. And here, as you can see, a named account. So simply, you can connect this account or create a new account if you want to. So for me, I'm just going to connect to this account without any problems. So let's just wait a bit here. And as you can see, business location. So you'll have to simply uh, finish the steps that I told you before once you are trying to activate your payments. So you will have to finish these steps right here. And let's just click on cancel. Once you finish those steps, of course, or if you already finished those steps from here, they will not ask you to do that right here but if you didn't they will ask you so simply follow the instructions provided here once you're done you can simply uh, you, you will find your stripe or deconnect it and you will be able to add it into your webflow as a payment as example so people when are going to click on your products as example they will be taken to a page when they can pay and from that page of course they will be able to pay as an example, or as I said before, make sure to test the transaction before going live. It's crucial to test the payment process. You can create a test purchase using Stripe testing environments, um, as I showed you before in the video before, uh, of course, to ensure everything is functioning as expected. Then you will be able to publish your website once you're satisfied with the setup and testing. You can publish your workflow website and make it live with the Stripe integration in place. So if we reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Stripe to your Webflow website, allowing you to accept payments and manage transactions seamlessly. With this integration, you are well on your way to providing a, a user-friendly and secure payment experience for your customers. By following these steps, you've enabled your website to handle online transactions with ease, making it a breeze for customers to purchase your products or services. So if you found this guide helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more tutorials. So if you have, of course, any concerns, you can always leave them down below in the comment section or contact the Stripe or even Webflow support. So that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.